name is Peston. I live in Cape Town. Also, I do uh, delivery. Interbed helped me to realize my dreams. Now I have my own delivery vehicle and I'm able to do the removal in and around Cape Town. Time now to have a look at the short lists of Rahil's and mine. Let's take a look and take you through it. There are one or two changes which we will mention as we go along. So without any further ado, short list number one, which belongs to me, is going to be placed up on screen momentarily. Okay, suggested place accumulator bankers. There are three in race number three, horse number eight. This is green sleeves for Gareth Finzale, Mario Ferreira and Warren Kennedy. Improving, lightly raced filly. We think she can win, let alone run in the first three. In the fourth race, number seven, Mike DeCock's horse, owned by Mary Slack and Michael Javitt, bred by Main Chance Farms, the Karari cult called Sequoia. We believe he's going to take a ton of beating, and you'll see as a result of that that he is a suggested pick six banker as well. Back to the PAs, race six, number seven, Fists of Fire, in a difficult race. You know, it's all about structure, it's all about... Uh, taking a chance. I quite like Fist of Fire. I think that he's going to be right there at the finish. Let's skip to the uh, horses to watch out for because we've already mentioned who the pick six banker is. Horses to watch out for in race two, number five over the bay, at least number three rather, race two, number three over the bay. If you go and have a look at that last run, very unlucky. Yes, he is a 16-time maiden runner, He's taking his 17th bite of the cherry on Wednesday, but he was desperately unlucky last time. I think he's going to not be a maiden for too much longer. So for me, a horse to watch out for, Doug Campbell's horse over the bay. The other one to watch out for is in the very next race, the third race, horse number three, Bell Starbuster. I think you can uh, do worse than including him in your quartets. He's a horse to keep an eye on. Blinkers go on. Sean Veal gets the ride. A fair effort last time. Not a good thing. I'm not suggesting that she can win because we like their Maria's world and we like green sleeves strongly. Uh, but I do believe Bell Starbuster could certainly run into the back end of Quartet. So then my third and final horse to watch out for cool runnings, as I said earlier on in the show, was a late scratching. So you'll just get two horses to watch out for from me. Scratched is the fourth race, number four, cool runnings. Let's go to Rahil and see what he likes in his shortlist. And then I'll come back to you and uh, wish you well. Oh, Warren, we are very much similar in our place accumulator and pick six bankers. We're both in the camp of green sleeves in race number three on the card. She looks to be the right horse in the race. She's a three-year-old horse of Kimia Green Light. She's improving that our Emily form line is working out really well. There's been Angel of Justice has won, Miss Gibson, Poppy of Bayou, Fateful Mistress, Indo Marvel, and Yata as a subsequent winner. And then there's been places like Our Emily, Sky Cafe, Amarandi, Ladies Day, Green Sleeves has come out to place as well. And then last time out, she was the fastest finish when beaten by her stable companion, Crazy Blues. On the show, I did mention that I'm taking a chance and bankering Green Sleeves in the pick six. So you could do that for the smaller, if the smaller budget. And uh, she, I think she's the right horse in the race, but on paper it does look to be a two-horse race. So you could either bank her green sleeves like I'm doing or include Maria as well in the pick six. Sequoia, place accumulator and pick six banker like Warren as well. He looks to be the right horse in the race. He carries 60. He's the three-year-old son of Karari. He's improving all the while. He's only at five runs to date. I think he's going to take to the poly track and uh, he's a horse that they all have to set their sights on. Moving on to race number five on the card where I've gone with the two horse Royce Kuman. Samango Kumalo rides 55 on his back. He's come down in the ratings, four points, a 1600 meter trip. He's tried it twice where he won his maiden. I think it's going to suit him a lot better than the 1700. He got improved last time out of the 1700 meter trip when beaten by Seisura just under three lengths. He ran fifth. But I think that this distance is going to suit him well. It is a shallow race, less competitive than what he has been meeting. And I think that you can take a chance and banker Royce Kuman in the first leg in the place accumulator, which is the first leg of jackpot number two. Then moving on to horses to watch out for. 
The first of those horses comes up in race number one, the six horse in Taba Zondi. Ran on nicely on debut. He gave away start, but he still was the fastest to finish and he made up a lot of ground in the latter stages of the race. He was only beaten four lengths by all the time in sixth position. I think over the 1400 meter trip on the poly track, yes, it is a competitive race, but I think that the six horse in Taba Zondi, he's only going to improve and I think he's worth an each way play at around 8 to 1 in the market. Then moving on to race number six on the card, which as Warren mentioned, it is a very competitive race. But I thought maybe a horse to watch, it now, watch out for is the 12 horse, Living Waters. He's been unlucky with draws. He, he hardly cracks a good draw. But I think that the pace will be on in this lineup. With the 2.5 kgs off his back, Rachel Vinegar knows him well. And I think Living Waters, he's going to be running on strongly at the business end of things. He's yet to win over the 2,000 meter trip. But he could get really close in race number 6 on the card. So those would be my two horses to watch out for. But Warren and I are similar out in the camp of the seven horse Sequoia in the race number four. So he could possibly be the right pick six bank on the card. But as I mentioned, you could also bank a cream sleeves for Warren. Yeah, absolutely. A, a, an exciting race meeting awaits. One or two races where we can go light. One or two races where we have to load up. But after all is said and done, We've tried our very best to advise you. At the end of the day, you are the punter and you will make the final decision. But what we can wish you from the studio is all the very best. Thank you for your contributions. Thank you for your support of horse racing. Be safe, punt well, and as always, we'll see you in the number one box. Uh, my name's Danny Deliberto, founder of Ladles of Love. It was founded back in 2014. Communities we, s we work with are all over the peninsula and um, we're working with 138 beneficiaries now. We've grown exponentially. Um, we've been able to do that because of all the kindness that we have experienced um, from individuals and corporates such as uh, Interbet. We just want to be part of the change.